According to data from the UN's weather agency, WMO, 2021 marked the 25th consecutive year when the ice sheet lost more mass during the melting season than it gained during the winter. The Sermak Kujalek Glacier, where the rate of loss had been consistent over the last couple of years, also saw an accelerated ice loss in 2021. In June 2021, Greenland experienced unusually heavy and late rainfall. In fact, the summit station of the ice sheet located 3,200 meters above sea level received rainfall for the first time. This led to a delay in the melting season. And by the end of August, Greenland had lost 166 billion tons of ice over a 12-month period. Ice loss is calculated with total mass balance, which is the sum of surface melting, ice chunks lost from icebergs, and extensions of glaciers that face the sea. By the time the season ended, the sheet had lost 396 billion tons. In all the 41 years that the level has been recorded, this was the 28th lowest level. Now, this might be called an average year, perhaps. But in the wake of the climate crisis, scientists have begun to look at ice loss differently. If this figure was recorded in the 1990s, it would have been considered very low. WMO's report notes that the delayed rainfall and a cooler summer was because of a blocking high-pressure system, that is, a clockwise gust of dry sinking air over southwest Canada and northwest United States. Shaped like the Greek letter omega, while it is a common occurrence, the strength of the system was higher than what has been observed before. According to an analysis by World Weather Attribution, this is a result of atmospheric warming, majorly caused by human activity. If things continue to escalate like this, will Greenland even have glaciers in the future?